Hey guys, what's up? This is the Pesnator here with the second scale mail tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys what I go through exactly setting this up and how to start your first scales and put them together. So as you can see, I have put a board down. Ideally you want a hard piece of wood or plastic and lift it up on a bit of an angle and you'll see why shortly. So now I'll show you, I've got two pairs of pliers. I'm so good with the camera here. Um, one is like a square tip nose and one is a long um, tip nose. I prefer the square tip because it just gives you more surface around the ring. Okay, now this here is a, I don't know, neck holdy thingy. And this is what you're going to attach your first ring to. So it holds it there. Make sure you put something at the back to hold it there as well so it doesn't fall forward. Okay, so here's a look at the scales. They're slightly bent one way so you know which way is the top and the bottom. And then I've got a few different colored rings. I got like 3,000 red rings, which was way too many but you can never be too safe. So just make sure you get yourself a big pile um, when you start working. Put your pliers on either side. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to attach the first ring to the first scale. So you grab the scale on either end of the, the split and bend it one way. In this case it doesn't matter which way you do it. And then you just feed that through the scale. You're going to have to play around and find what grip works for you. Then you're going to grab one side of the, uh, the split, grab the other side and twist it back together. And make sure you go that extra bit further to get a firm closure on that split. Okay, then we're going to put it face down, so it's going to bend upwards. And you're going to put that attached to the neck holder thingy. So then that's going to hold the weight of the thing, so it doesn't fall down. And you need that angle to keep working. Okay, so here we're doing the second scale. So how this works is, I put that through the bottom ring first and then you want to put that ring on top and you just put that so the ring goes through the bottom one put the top scale over that and then bend that closed so you always want to make sure the ring like you can see there the ring is on top of the inside I don't know if that makes sense but it's uh, pretty hard to explain you just have to see it Okay, so once you've done one side, we're going to start with a three, which creates like a little pyramid. Okay, so now you do the left one. So you're going to see it's through there. Just stick that on top of that ring, and then we're going to close that up as well. So the scales on the bottom level are always on top. So you just need to remember that when you work your way down, that the the most bottom level is always on top. Okay, so you can see there the top scale is in the middle of those two. Now we're going to put three onto that next level. I usually start in the middle and then work, do the right side, do the left side, because then you can do everything one way and then work back the other way. Okay, so the next step is to grab another ring and a scale. So this one's going to go directly in the middle and sitting on top. Once again, that one is like half a layer below, but we're putting it on top. So it doesn't matter which way you bend the ring, as long as it's open and the ring falls on top. So it's the same thing, just how the scale has to be on top. 
that part of the ring has to be on top as well. You'll find out when you do it, you'll make a mistake and you'll see how come this doesn't look right and then you'll realize, oh, the scale, I didn't put the uh, ring through the scale properly. So you just got to be really careful with that because you don't want to go back and undo a whole heap of rings. Okay, so now the next one we put through C, so we're going to put it under that ring on the layer above. It's so great my hand got in the way there. And then we feed that through. That's the best example of you putting it through the bottom layer and putting the top layer over that ring. That's the easiest way to do it. And then you can see there you've got four rings attached in that little sequence. Okay, so that's um, what you're going to have is four rings through each scale, basically. So now you're thinking this can make a perfect triangle, what you've seen in my previous video, but what if you need to go further out, um, like to make more of a curve, or you want to go straight, which I'll explain a bit later. But in this case, if you'd want to go a little bit um, curvier, you don't have to add extra scales, you can just do rings, but you can add some scales as well. In this case, I'm adding a ring to the outside scale. And this is what I had to do for my Robin armor because I had to get strings, um, like some rope shoelace stuff through there to hold it onto the shirt. So I did this around the whole outside, uh, which you'll see later. And that's how it helps keep the weight in check so it's not pulling all on that top bit but it's curved a bit and it fits nicely around the shoulder so obviously there I just got so angry and <laughs> everyone makes mistakes but um, that's what makes it fun make sure you have adequate beverages for this as well so what I've done is basically adding one ring to the top scale, one ring to that right hand side scale, and then this ring goes through both of those. And that's going to create some extra leeway on that top right hand side. So you can see there, you can curve it a bit more around that top right hand side. And then if you want, you can just keep going. So just make a straight line, do the scales up that whole side. You see here, you could attach that one to that one. You could put that scale, that ring up there. And just to give it that extra bit of flex at the top, because you don't want your scales sticking out. You want them to bend over your shoulder or your leg, wherever it's going to go. So in conclusion to those four pieces, the next part to create more of the triangle would be add the two more pieces to either side of that bottom piece you just put in the middle. So the next part I wanted to show you was how to make it go straight out instead of the triangle. For example, if you wanted to put it across your hip or your belt, um, I'm just not very good with that yet, so I was struggling a bit here. Um, but I'll put a link in the description below to one of my friends, Ecto2. He um, is where I got the idea to do this. And um, he's got some great pictures on his page of what it looks like. And um, I'll explain that when I put up my Robin work in progress folder on Facebook as well, which I'll also put a link in the description below. Okay, and here's a look at what it looks like on the shirt. So, um, as you can see down the sides there, how I've put those extra rings on. 
Um, that is how I attached it to the top of the shirt. And there's two pieces of leather at, up the top there, which I punched holes through and I put lacing through the rings and then through the leather to give it that support and that's riveted onto the shirt. So that's how it stays on there and that's how those extra rings come in so handy. And that's it guys, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, here's the previous layout that I used to uh, make my scales, there you can see them all. Even though that's not the final finished product, if you have any questions please comment below. Here is what it finally looks like when I wore it to Supernova. Um, I'm extremely happy with it and I hope to wear it a lot in the future. So please um, check out my page below and any questions just ask. Cheers.